quality of my videos has improved so much lately, like over 200%. I finally invested in a good lens and lighting equipment. It literally looks like a studio in here. It looks so professional, really. To start fresh off on YouTube, I wanted to do a little video that helps you guys to kind of uh, get closer to me, kind of, you know, build up. A friendship. I want to talk about a topic that is really important to me because it kind of has changed my life at one point completely. You guys really asked so many questions about it. I want to do a video for you guys so I don't really have to explain it like a million times over and over again. I'm going to be talking about my weight loss journey. You guys asked so many questions about the subject. Especially on Twitter I got loads of questions about it. How did I do that? What were my secrets? What did I do? What did I eat? What kind of work I did I do? So I I just want to, you know, put it all together in a video, so I kind of might help you guys. I hope I will help you, I'm not really sure if it will help you. That was me. I don't know if you can like believe that. That was me. Literally, it was me. I know, it's horrible and awful and I look like 20 years older, but it's crazy. Like, I looked like this before, what happened? <laughs> Why? <laughs> and seriously, what was I wearing like? I'm so amorous on myself, on my fashion sense. But I look like a lot of funny young women, like literally, and now I look like way younger. Weight changes a lot. It's crazy. So this is like, wow. Really awful. Look at that. It looks. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. I want to tell you guys that just because this method and this way it worked for me doesn't mean it works exactly the same way for you. Everyone has different bodies, different body structures, so I think you kind of have to figure out the way that works for you the best. But I'm just gonna tell you how it worked for me. Also, I want to tell you guys that you should not change yourself or anything about yourself because someone else wants it or because someone insults you and it really bothers you. Also, not because of the pressure of society. Because, you know, it's your own body, it's your own opinion or your own decision. You should only change something about yourself if you really don't feel comfortable, if you really want to change something about yourself and if you want to feel better in your own skin and all that. Then you, then you can definitely, it's perfectly fine to do it then, but never ever do it for someone else. Like, I really want you guys to feel good in your body. It's always up to you. It's always your own decision. Also, don't let anyone label you. Like, actually, I'm really against the BMI thing, like body mass index thing, because if someone's like five feet four and they're just allowed to weigh a lot, I don't know, just that exact weight amount, like it's stupid. It really depends on person and how you look and it doesn't depend on, some people really do look better with a bit more weight on or with a bit more less. So it's kind of, you know, you should always, always set yourself instead of a number on a weight scale, always set yourself the goal to wake up in the morning and just feel really beautiful and feel really good and comfortable in your body and then it's perfectly fine to you know, change something about yourself because you want to achieve that. You want to wake up in the morning and just feel beautiful and just feel amazing and free and that's what you want to achieve. I want to lose weight because I was really chubby. I really didn't know how and why I gained weight. It was like one point I always wanted to lose weight but I was you know, always like 13, 14, 12 and at that age you really didn't know what to change to lose weight. You really didn't know what kind of workout you have to do. You really don't know what to do. There are no options for you. You have to go to school. You really have no time. With 14 actually, I just woke up one day. I was ready to change everything. I was, I had the power and the balls, I would say, even though I don't have any balls. But it's really about your view on life. You have to change that to change yourself. And it was really hard. It took about, about six up to eight months. Six to eight months. I really don't know the exact time anymore. But I know that I was skinny by the time I was 15. It was almost a year and it took a lot of dedication and a lot of passion to lose weight because I really want to do that and if you really want to do something you can achieve that you just have to believe in yourself it sounds really hard but it's actually just you know you have that one point where it's just like snapping I can't snap for life <laughs> That's a point where you want to change something. There are like two main things that you have to know about losing weight. First, it's you gotta change your nutrition, your diet, make it healthier, less calories and all that, which is kind of, you know, it's obvious that you have to do that. And the next really important step is to work out, to do fitness programs, change your diet and your nutrition, but also work out, you know? Get it? Get it, 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 mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, that was, that was weird. 
Actually, there were like three main things. I used to eat a lot of sweets, a lot of candy, a lot of chocolate because I'm kind of addicted to chocolate. That was a really hard point for me. I personally cut down completely on the sweet and candy bar. I didn't eat anything while I was losing weight, while I was trying to lose weight. I did not eat a bit, like not even like a little tiny bit. I did not. I wanted to like stop my cravings for chocolate. It kind of really helped, but it's up to you, you know. You can eat everything, but you know. Tiny mons. For breakfast, I love to eat buns and croissants and all that with loads of butter on it and Nutella is my, like, my favorite dish. Nutella is so good, like really it's so good, right? I had to change that obviously. I changed it actually to yogurt and cereal but like a healthy version of cereal. I had this kind of rule that I did not eat anything in between huge meals. I had breakfast, lunch and dinner and that was it. I did not eat anything in between. I know there are lots of experts saying that you should, instead of eating three huge meals, you should eat up to five little meals because it's better for you. But I like the other version more. I'm more into the three huge meals because I'm really full after it and I'm not really craving any food at all. So that's like the best version that worked for me. But you know, you have to figure it out yourself. I'm not telling you what to eat and how to eat. So it's just like the way it worked for me. I always set times for lunch, uh, dinner and breakfast and I did not change any of these times. Because you have time set where you eat, you kind of like look forward to that point. I always used to eat always things like mac and cheese and chicken and rice. That's like my favorite dishes. Still are today, but you know, it's not healthy. You're not gonna lose weight in the first two months. For the first two months, I really try to eat healthy and really cut down on the calories because you know, these first two months are like really important because your body has to change your whole nutrition and it will help you lose weight faster. So, really choose a healthy way. It's better. For lunch, I always used to eat all these fast food and all that. I didn't want to cut down completely on a good tasting food and I neither wanted to eat just salad. I always ate chicken breast with salad or fish with salad, preferably salmon. I kind of switched it from day to day. You can't really do anything wrong about that. I'll also kind of put some salad days in between. So I had only salad, but after that I also had chicken breast and salad or salmon and salad, you know, all this switching stuff. So it was okay. I personally don't like eating dinner because I always feel full and I can't really sleep good. I try to find something that is not heavy, but kind of, you know, satisfies my needs for candy because I love eating candy at dinner time. I decided I would eat an apple each day for dinner. It might sound a bit less but it actually I was so full afterwards like and it was sweet. I love sweet apples. There are also sour apples but I'm really into the sweet ones. They were actually really good. I satisfied my need for candies. I didn't really want any. All those months I ate an apple for dinner, nothing else, no candy, no sweets. And it really helped me lose weight. To speak about the times I set for each day, I usually ate breakfast at 7 a.m. on school days. On weekends, I would eat at like 8 a.m., 8 to 9 a.m. Lunch, I would have each day on 1 p.m. and dinner at about 7 to 8 p.m. You know, there was like a time gap from about 5 to 6 hours and it was okay. I did. I wasn't really hungry. I'm telling you, the first weeks were awful. If you really want to change something, you can do that. You just have to believe in yourself. Just have to believe in the fact that if you do that, you'll actually, you know, you'll get something back. It's like you give something and you get something back and this will really make you happy. If you see the results, you will be so happy afterwards. After changing my diet, my nutrition, I pretty much changed it after two months, but just the lunch part. I did, I did keep the breakfast and dinner part because it really worked well for me. So I was really used to eating that for breakfast and an apple for dinner and it really worked. I was always full till lunch and it worked pretty well. It was pretty hard at the beginning, but it got a lot easier with the time. But the part of working out, I really hated sports before I lost weight. Nowadays, I'm really a sports addict, I would say. In the first week, I started going on my cross trainer about three times for an hour. I started going on the cross trainer. I started going on the cross trainer every day, each day, for an hour, and I still did that. I did it, I did it for all these six up to eight months. I really went each day on the cross trainer for an hour running. Some people like get really bored after an hour, but I always listen to music. And it might sound weird, but while I'm listening to music, I always make up little stories in my head. So I'm thinking about them and it kind of, you know, the time flies by and I'm just running. It's really fun actually, you know, I love doing that. I'm not doing sports each day. I kind of feel restless, like I have to do them. And after that, I always do like a 15 minutes 
body workout thingy with stretching, just simple stretching, then a bit yoga. Then I did like 20 push-ups, 20 sit-ups, and that was it. I was I wasn't really, you know, into all this stretching app session thingy. That was pretty much it. I did that for eight months. You guys asked me when I kind of knew that I had the right weight. Like I said, it was actually in summer. I woke up and I really felt really good in my body, really beautiful. I looked in the mirror and just saw my body and myself and felt like I really achieved something and felt so beautiful and so good. And that was the point where I said, I don't want to lose more. This is the perfect way for me. And yeah, I look really good. I think I have the perfect weight now. With doing a lot of sports, you really do a lot. It will take time. I'm not telling you that if you start doing your diet, you will have the perfect weight from one to the other day. It's not going to be like you go to bath and you wake up and you'll be like, oh, I'm so skinny. Like, no, that's not gonna happen. I sure have a lot of times where I step on a weight scale, which I really try to avoid. When I gain a bit, it kind of brings me down, but if it's just a bit, it's okay. You're just gonna eat less the other day. It's, it's not such a big thing. It's just, you know, the way you look at life, the way you look at yourself, and you just gotta change that to change yourself. That's the main point. So it was pretty much my whole weight loss journey. I hope I kind of helped you guys. Like I said, it's probably not going to work the exact same way for you. But, you know, if you really want to change something, and if you really want to do it, if you want to do that, not if anyone else wants to do it, if you want to do that, then you can do that. I, I believe in you, everyone believes in you, and you have to believe in yourself to do that. If you really achieve that, if you lost weight, you will start loving yourself. That's a really important point in life. Without loving yourself, you're not really able to love anyone else and accept the love, because you will always think, why would someone, you know, choose me over that person because they're like, way more perfect. Now, that's why I gotta love yourself too on my arms. It's really important to have self-confidence and to believe in yourself and to love yourself to achieve all those things and you will start loving yourself with the time, with losing weight, you will be proud of yourself, proud of everything you've achieved and it's a really great feeling. That was it, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope I helped you and give it a thumbs up or one, actually one because it's the only possibility so give it a thumbs up and I would be so happy you guys would Subscribe to my channel because there are really loads of videos coming. Bye guys, thanks for watching! Yeah. You know how hard it is to like focus on the camera lens instead of like this little screen I have like popped up? It's so hard, I always look at the screen. No! I'm so excited about the whole quality, like the video looks so good. Guys! Hi guys! Hi guys! Hi guys! Hi guys! Hi guys. Swag. I'm so embarrassing and awkward, but I'm proud of it. Just leaving it there. Hey guys! I'm standing really close and this is so awkward. Am I making a sound? No, 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 no. Bring the beat back. That's right.